What's up you guys? It's your girl Lovely and I am back with another video. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title, in today's video I am going to be using Dollar Tree balloons to fill this balloon mosaic frame. I'm also going to be testing it, like leaving it outside in the heat to see how the balloons hold up. This is going to be like a Dollar Tree review video again because I used the Dollar Tree foam board to make this number one balloon mosaic frame and I'm going to be using their balloons. So it's basically going to be a Dollar Tree review. So for this video, I have my balloons. Of course, I bought eight packs of these Dollar Tree balloons. They come with 25 balloons in the pack. They're like assorted colors. I bought eight of them, but last week I inflated like two packs because I thought I was gonna make this video last week. And they're still intact. Some of them are really squishy, but I'll try to see if I can still use them to fill in. I have my low temperature glue gun and just in case the glue is too hot for these type of balloons, I have two different types of glue dots to use. I have these ones, these are the most popular ones and I also have these cheaper ones that I bought on Amazon. I really like them so I'll definitely link them in the description box below. I have my scissors to cut the ends off. I have my hand pump, my electric pump, and also some glue sticks. So to get started, I'm gonna open up all of these balloons and I'm gonna sort them in colors because that's the look that I'm going for. I'm not doing an assorted look. I'm trying to color block when I'm filling in the frame. So that's why I gotta make sure that I have enough of each color. So these are all the colors that came in the pack. There are a lot of pink, a lot of red, a couple orange, a couple yellow, a couple blue, and just these random colors, like literally one of this, one of that, like just random. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna color block this as yet. I already know that I won't be using these colors that's like literally one of each. I'm just gonna take those out. It doesn't make sense. But these are the balloons that I have. I do have these colors in other brands, but I'm only trying to stick to the Dollar Tree brands right now. So I'm just gonna work with what I have. These, I only have like three of each. So I'm just gonna remove them and put them aside. I don't need those. So I'm gonna start inflating and then we'll see. So this is 10 pumps and I want the balloons to be round. I could just inflate it a little more and then bring it back down to this size. That's what I'm gonna do. So 12 pumps and I'm trying to bring it back down to the size that I had earlier. So now that you can see that the balloon is round and it's like the perfect size. So I'm just gonna tie it right there. And it's not too stiff because I already released some air, so it's not stiff. Oh, and by the way, these are nine inch balloons. They're not five inches, they're nine. Hey guys, so this is how the frame looks right now. I haven't glued the balloons in yet. I just placed them in there to make sure that I have enough and they're the right size. So the first test would be to see if it's um, thick enough for the hot glue. So let's try it. I don't think it will be, but if it's not, then that's why I have the glue dots to try with. 
Oh Lord, I think it's gonna pop. Okay. So far so good. Let me take out the rest of these balloons. And guys, I glue it on the side because I do not want the, the dark spot on top of the balloons to show if I'm supposed to place it in there like that. So hence why I glue it on the side. And these will be covered up when I start filling it in with the baby balloons. All right guys, so this is how it looks so far after I glue in all of the base balloons in with my low temperature glue gun. Surprisingly, none of the balloons popped from the heat, so that is good. So now I'm gonna go in and start um, inflating my baby balloons and I'm using the same nine inch balloons that came in the pack because I did not see any five inch balloons at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be using my low temperature glue gun to glue those in as well.
All right, guys. So this is how the balloon mosaic turned out using the Dollar Tree balloons only and my low temperature glue gun. None of the balloons popped. Actually, I'm so surprised. The balloons are super thin, so I thought it was gonna pop, but it didn't. So I'm kind of satisfied with the results. I'm going to leave it outside for a couple hours. Let me see how hot it is. I'm gonna leave it outside for a couple hours and then I'll show you guys how it looked after a long day in the sun. So right now is 75 degrees outside and I'm gonna place it not directly in the sun but I don't know I'm just gonna place it outside maybe um, not directly in the sun just because sun do pop balloons and I'm not intentionally trying to pop the balloons I just want to see how it will hold up outside in case somebody will want to try this they'll know how long it lasts so I'm gonna catch you guys back later when I bring it back inside okay guys so this is it outdoors I'm gonna leave it right there where it's not directly in the sun there's a little bit of shade just to see how the balloons will hold up and I will check back in later on to show you guys if any of them pop and how the balloons look when they're oxidized okay you guys so here's an update I placed this balloon mosaic outside around 1 30 and now it's 7 p.m. I noticed that um that bottom part was torn apart and also this pink balloon deflated and fell off a couple of the red ones deflated and fell off too like probably one or two as you can see that one up there deflated but apart from that it doesn't look bad when it's oxidized it looks like the normal balloons and if anybody's trying to save some money then I guess they could use the Dollar Tree foam board and balloons and create something beautiful. Well, guys, that is all for this video. I hope that it helps someone who is curious to know about Dollar Tree balloons and balloon mosaics. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And I'll definitely catch y'all in my next video. Bye.